In this question, we're going to solve a simultaneous equation and see how this looks in matrix notation. So let's begin by representing our simultaneous equations in a matrix notation, where we're going to take a two by two matrix and multiply it by the unknowns, the X and Y, as a matrix to give us our outcomes 8 and 22. So the key question is what matrix do we need to multiply the matrix XY by to give 8 and 22? Now it's actually quite simple in that all we need to do is need to write down the matrix as the coefficients on X and Y in each of our expressions. So our matrix is 3, 2, 5, minus 1, which when multiplied by x, y, is going to be equal to 8, 22. Now we could check that this matches our simultaneous equations by multiplying out the matrices. So that would mean that multiplying out these matrices, we would have 3x plus 2y at the top of the matrix, 5x minus y as the bottom element of the matrix, which is just equal to 8, 22. Here we have 3x plus 2y is equal to 8, which is just what we started off with. 5x minus y is equal to 22, which is again just what we started off with. So in part b, we're asked to try and solve these two simultaneous equations. So let's just write them out in full again. 3x plus 2y is equal to 8, and 5x minus y is equal to 22. And let's write this out in matrix form as well. 3, 2, 5, minus 1 times by x, y is equal to 8, 22. Now let's label the first equation equation 1, the second equation as equation 2. Now what we want to do in order to solve a simultaneous equation is get x is equal to something and y is equal to something. So we need to try and cancel out the y's from one equation. Let's say from equation 1, we want to try and cancel out the x's in the second equation. The way that we do this is by repeatedly adding or subtracting multiples of equation 1 or equation 2 to the other equation. So let's start by taking equation 1 and we're going to try and cancel out the y's in equation 1. We notice that there are two lots of y in equation 1 but there's a minus y in equation 2 so if we were to add on two lots of equation 2 to equation 1 we'd have two lots of minus y and that, that would cancel out with the 2y. So if we had 1 plus two lots of equation 2 then on the left hand side we have what equation 1 used to be 3x plus 2y and then we're adding on two lots of the left hand side of equation 2 in order to try and cancel out the two y's so we have plus 2 times 5x which is 10x plus 2 times minus y which is minus 2y then on the right hand side we've got 8 plus 2 lots of 22, so that's 8 plus 44. Now if we group our terms together, that gives us that 13x plus 2y minus 2y is just 0. So I'm just going to put plus 0y for a minute, is equal to 52. Let's call that equation 3, and then we'll put equation 2 underneath it as well. So 5x minus y is equal to 22. That's still equation 2. And then we can write this in matrix notation, just using the coefficients. Now hopefully you'll see now why I put a 0 on the y, because the coefficient on the x is 13, the coefficient on y is 0. Then in the second equation it's 5 and minus 1. If we multiply that by xy, what we end up with is 52, 22. All that we've done is that we've 
in our new matrix, we've added on two lots of the second row onto the first row, and the relationship still holds, provided we do the same to both the left and right-hand side matrices. So we might want to get x is equal to something. So let's take equation three now and divide it through by 13. So that's going to give us that 13x divided by 13 is just x. 0y divided by 13 is just still just 0y. 52 divided by 13 is equal to 4. Let's label that equation 4 now and write down equation 2 again as just 5x minus y is equal to 22. That's still equation 2. And in matrix notation, we have 1. The coefficient on y is still 0. The coefficient on x here is 5 and minus 1, which if we multiply by x, y is equal to 4, 22. So we've already solved now for x, but let's carry on in the same notation. So we now, in equation 2, want to try and cancel out this x term. And if we were to subtract four, um, 5 lots of equation 4, then we'd have 5x's which we could cancel out with a 5x's in equation 2. So let's take equation 2 and subtract 5 lots of equation 4. So that will give us that 5x minus y on the left hand side minus 5 lots of x is equal to, on the right hand side, 22 minus 5 lots of 4, which gives us that minus y is equal to 2. So we'll label that now equation 5. Let's group equation 5 and equation 4 together. So we're going to have x is equal to 4, minus y is equal to 2. So that's equation 5 and equation 4. And we can write this as 1, 0, 0, minus 1 times by x, y, is equal to 4, 2. And the final thing that we can do is we can multiply equation 5 by minus 1, or we could multiply the bottom row of this by minus 1 to give us that y is equal to 2. So we can rewrite our equations 4 and 5 as x is equal to 4, and y is equal to minus 2, and in matrix notation this gives us that 1, 0, 0, 1 times by x, y is equal to 4 minus 2. Now we could check this by going back to our original equations and check that 4 and minus 2 will work. So suppose that x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 2, then in the first equation we'd have 12 minus 4 is equal to 8, so that works. Then in the second equation we've got 5 times by 4 is 20, minus minus 2 gives us 22. So that gives us our correct answer. All the way through, all that we've been doing is we've been adding and subtracting multiples of rows on both the left-hand and right-hand side of our matrix. So whenever we're doing this with simultaneous equations, we can do exactly the same operations with our matrices.